All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. So this is for Thursday, May 11th, 2017. All right, so we are coming off of a full moon from yesterday in Libra. So uh, that was, and still very much is, an illuminating time about um, our lives generally, right? Great to do the status check and see how things are unfolding. Um, and I think particularly with Libra, it's about the uh, balance, right? Do we have balance in our life? And maybe even too with relationships, right? Um, how are our relationships? H how is our perception, our perspective of relationships as well? Do we see things in terms of mutuality, cooperation, harmony, and um, really looking at what's good for us, but also what's good for others as well? You know, what's really good for everyone. So that's still very much an orb, and I think it's still great to cultivate these qualities of Libra at the moment, balance, harmony, morality, justice, and uh, integrate this into our lives. Now, the moon will be in Libra for the bulk of the day, shifting into Scorpio in the evening. If you are in the Americas, you will feel this in the evening time for the rest of you uh, tomorrow. But um, this is where things get a bit deeper, right? It'll still be the full moon and Libra energy, but our emotions might get a bit deeper. And I think it does make it really good for uh, being aware of that. You know, the moon is usually a very private aspect of ourselves and in Scorpio really opens up those veils, you know, opens things up for us to essentially accept all qualities of ourself and of life. And so I think it's excellent to do that in the evening, just sitting with the feelings and, and accepting there. So, um, so that's the moon placements, and uh, today we do have two very important aspects. One in particular, uh, Mars is squaring up to Neptune, so there is this uh, dissolving taking place with our egos here today. Mars is the side of ourself that wants to get things done, wants to cultivate the things that are important to us, but there's this sort of block, or there's this haze, or there's this uncertainty, which can perhaps cause a bit of frustration uh, and discouragement. So we'll talk about that in more detail, but Mercury is also trining up to Saturn, which is nice, giving us a practical mind here today. And going into tomorrow, that Mars, that squaring Neptune starts to trine up to Jupiter. So we could be feeling quite inspired actually, even though there's this dissolving taking place. All right, so let's go and look at this in more detail when we return. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, analyze these placements first. We have the moon finishing up Libra today, but again, still very much full. And so anything that you can, you know, cultivate in your life in the sense of whatever awareness you're gaining at the moment, implementing that awareness, maybe the insight, um, you know, from yesterday, but still we're very much in it today. And I think it's all about balance, right? How are the different areas of your life? Do you have balance in the areas? And how are relationships, right? Harmony and cooperation, very important at the moment to be bringing that into our beingness. Now, the moon is uh, shifting into Scorpio in the evening. So for the next uh, two or three days, it will be quite deep, I feel like. Um, nothing major, nothing, you know, out of the, un nothing out of the ordinary because this happens once a month, right? So. I think it is really good to get deeper, to get vulnerable, to get open with life. And as a result, we can be going through some healing these next uh, two or three days and really connecting to life in a way that truly matters. But uh, yeah, we won't be feeling that until the evening time there. Now the um, sun is finishing up Aries, but still is very well placed. We'll be shifting into Taurus later in the week, um, I believe this weekend. So there is still this active focus, right? Expressing ourselves in direct ways. Uh, independence is very strong. Uh, yes, we can be very um, active perhaps, but I think it's good to initiate things nonetheless. And we do still have a lot of Pisces energy, of course, giving us that uh, intuition still and uh, helping us surrender to find peace in our life. So let's talk about this very important Mars squaring up to Neptune. It's going exact here today. Um, now, mind you, Mars is trining Jupiter as we go into this. So this is going to sort of dampen what is normally a very challenging aspect, actually. Uh, Mars is the side of ourself that, again, wants things. It's the very strong ego. It's the drive. It's the masculine energy, you know, forcefully initiating things in our life. 
but Neptune is almost the complete opposite, you could say. It's about dissolving. It's about selflessness. And so when these two planets square up like this, it can be, you know, challenging to work with. And, and we all experience it a bit in a different way. So I think fundamentally what's happening is our ego is dissolving, right? Uh, we're becoming more aware of how we can detach and allow things to just kind of flow instead of perhaps forcing them or wanting them to be a certain way. And this can touch very deeply, you know, it, it touches very deeply to our wants and needs. So we could feel discouraged, you know, with this, if there's anything you're trying to do. We could be feeling apathetic, like giving up, not wanting to get involved with it whatsoever. And maybe even frustrated, you know, if the Mars is very strongly influenced for you. So um, the best thing here is to take a step back, take a breath, right? Set the thing down, set the glass down for a moment um, and just kind of be, right? Allow things to flow a bit, especially because, as I said, tomorrow there's this shift where then we start to feel a bit hopeful, inspired, confident even, right? Which is Jupiter contacting Mars in, in the most supportive aspect possible. So, um, yes, great day for um, still moving things forward. Again, we're in a very illuminating time with the full moon. It is about implementation, but I think seeing how we can, you know, detach, right, and surrender um, in terms of whatever those very strong wants and needs are or whatever it is we're trying to do today. Now, Mercury is trining up to Saturn, so there is some very good support here with our practical mind here today, making it really good for routine, work, uh, thinking about stuff or writing things, correspondence, and also communication. All right, there's a lot of support for this. So um, I think we're just willing to see things in the long term with the trying up to Saturn, see the big picture, take things slowly, groundedly, when it does involve the routine, it does involve what we're thinking or communicating, and that can be a very positive force. So if you want to implement that, However you'd like, I think it's a great day for implementing all mercurial things. All right, and these are uh, minor lunar aspects, so we won't touch on these, but there might be a bit of healing here today. And again, with this uh, illuminating time, if there is anything you can challenge yourself towards in terms of your life path, um, on a minor note, you know, initiation steps you can take at this full moon time can go well, can be a good way of implementing this energy. All right, so that's the day generally. The way I would sum this up is Mars squaring Neptune, a dissolving taking place for each of us, but also collectively as well. There might be uncertainty. There might be frustration. There might be apathy, discouragement. But step back, right? Presence, this is a transient energy. Uh, we're learning to detach through all of this collectively, learning to sort of be more accepting about things, about ourselves even in our life and uh, whatever else it is that we're motivated towards, okay? The Mercury trining up to Saturn does give us really good practical thinking, practical communication, and uh, a bit of flow perhaps in that routine. And uh, yes, still very much Libra, still very much this full moon of seeing where we can bring in some balance in our life. And then in our relationships, harmony, cooperation, and all in all justice, you know, doing the right thing for all. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.